fracture of shaft of humerus. Anatomy The humerus is a typical long bone. The upper half of the shaft is roughly cylindrical. Lower half begins to flatten. Deltoid muscle is inserted on deltoid tuberosity on anterolateral surface. Mechanism of injury A fall on hand may twist the humerus causes spiral fracture. A fallen elbow with arm abducted exerts a bending force causes an oblique or transverse fracture. A direct blow to arm transverse or comminuted fracture. Pathoanatomy 1. For fractures above, deltoid insertion, proximal fragment is adducted by pectoralis major. 2. For fractures below, deltoid insertion, proximal fragment is abducted by deltoid. 3. Injury to radial nerve is common, fortunately recovery is usual. Clinical features Arm, will be Painful Swollen, bruised Radial nerve, function testing, before and after, treatment is important how to do? By assessing, active extension of, the metacarpophalangeal joints. Why not active extension of wrist? It can be misleading because, extensor carpi radialis longus is sometimes is supplied by a branch, arising, proximal to injury. Radiological features. X-rays, Anterior posterior and lateral view of arm width, shoulder and elbow joint. Shows, site of fracture, pattern, transverse, spiral, comminuted. Treatment Non-operative treatment Fracture shaft of humerus heals readily normally. The weight of arm with an External cast is usually enough. Hanging cast. Applied from shoulder to wrist, with elbow flex 90 degree. The forearm section is surrounded by, a sling around patient's neck. This may be replaced by a short cast, shoulder to elbow, or a polypropylene brace later. Advantages of non-operative treatment Wrist and finger exercises can be done easily. Pendulum exercises of shoulder can be started within a week. Operative treatment Indications, severe multiple injuries An open fracture Segmental fracture Displaced intra-articular extension a pathological fracture a floating elbow radial nerve palsy after manipulation non-union fixation can be done with compression plate and screws interlocking intramedullary nail or semi-flexible pins an external fixation Compression plate and screws.
Advantages 1. Excellent reduction and fixation 2. Doesn't interfere with shoulder and elbow function Disadvantages 1. Possibility of radial nerve injury Too much, periosteal stripping may increase the risk of non-union Interlocking intramedullary nail Advantages 1. Requires minimal dissection Disadvantages 1. Causes rotator cuff problem 2. It may distract the fracture External fixation Advantages 1. Useful and high energy, segmental fractures and open fracture. Disadvantages 1. Possibility of radial nerve injury Complications Early A. Vascular injury, brachial artery B. Nerve injury, radial nerve particularly in oblique fractures at the junction of middle and distal one-third of bone that is, Holstein-Lewis fracture. Late. A. Delayed union and non-union, typical in segment high-energy fractures and open fracture. B. Joint stiffness. Holstein-Lewis fracture. Special features in children. Uncommon in under, 3 years of age. If present, possibility of child abuse to be, considered in tactful examination needed. Treatment, conservative. Thanks for watching our videos, please don't forget to subscribe.